Hey everybody, I'm Eric in Exile. Today, I want to talk about how the classic video game Dig Dug got me back into video gaming after being out of it for several years. Also, there's a Nintendo system, two Atari systems, and a dream about 1982's Dig Dug. Are you ready? Let's do it! The first thing I want to mention is all the new cool Dig Dug stuff that's out there these days. I love the little arcade game cabinets they have. It's just super cool. My first video game was Radio Shack Electronic TV Scoreboard, which was a Pong clone. Shortly after that, the Atari 2600 was released, and that cemented my love of video games. In 1982, I remember playing Dig Dug at a local arcade, the Game Emporium, and I loved it. I thought it was way better than Pac-Man because you could make your own traps in the game to kill off the bad guys. I liked the fact that the game encouraged you to be creative. In the early 1990s, I was just starting college. I had no time for video games at all. It truly was a time for me to work hard and to absorb as much as I could during that time. After I graduated, I started working in office jobs and that was okay, but it seemed that I was missing out on something. One night, I had a completely random dream where I was playing Dig Dug. All the next day at work, I kept thinking that I was missing out on video games. I knew then and there that I had to get back into gaming. But where should I start? I knew that the Nintendo NES was still around, so I picked up the Model 2 top loader and a copy of something called Dig Dug 2. It turned out not to be that great of a game. So where was the original Dig Dug? I knew I needed to get a copy of the original Dig Dug, but it wasn't available on the NES. Of course, I finally remembered that the original Dig Dug was on the Atari 2600, which I still had at that time. I picked up a loose Dig Dug cartridge and popped it into the system, and I was immediately horrified at how terrible the game looked on the Atari. This would never do. Shortly after, I wound up coming across some information for a company called Telegames. They were having a blowout of the Atari 7800 and some games. I ordered it immediately and grabbed some of the games, including the 7800 version of Dig Dug, and that did it. The graphics were way better than the 2600 version, and I was glad to be back into gaming. From that point on, I was all in for video games. I started collecting more and more games and consoles. I started with getting a Sega CDX, then an Atari Jaguar. Then, a Sony PlayStation. Mind you that this is still in the 1990s when this is happening. I eventually got to where I am now, in 2019, with 18 game consoles and over 1,000 games. All of this because I played Dig Dug way back in 1982. I know, it's crazy! And that's my story about how Dig Dug got me back into video gaming. I think it's cool to look back at those times and see what an influential time it was back then. The games that were coming out were truly groundbreaking. Look at the games like Dragon's Lair and Space Ace. Those games use laser discs to run on them. I personally beat both of those games in the arcade and it only took me a mountain of quarters to do it. Now, fast forward to today's games. You've got games you can play for hours, weeks, months. It's insane. I bought Horizon Zero Dawn for 50 bucks and I got 100 hours of gameplay out of it. Even after beating the game, it still showed me I only got 30% of completion. Now that's a lot of entertainment for your money. I think that today it's a new golden age of gaming. We've got tons of games available to us. We've got VR, we've got high definition TVs. It's just a great time for gaming. But I still have great reverence for all those early games that came out back in the day. If it wasn't for them, we may have never had video games at all. And that would be a shame. Thank you, Dig Dug, for getting me back into the video gaming scene. Now, I think I need to go play some Dig Dug. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah! If you like what I'm doing here, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, share this video with your friends, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I post a brand new video every Friday, so click that notification bell to be notified when it goes live. Let me know what you think about Dig Dug down in the comments below. 
I want to thank everybody for joining in today, and I'll see you in the next video.